Hello guys and welcome to another exciting episode. It is The Album with Ria. You know how I do it. I bring you your favorite personalities to you right on TV. Now today I'm talking to a woman who is doing extremely well in the world of fashion. Now trust me, she started sewing at an early age of eight years. You can imagine, but she officially began her career as Vicky James in 2018. Now since she started, she's made clothes for a lot of people, a lot of celebrities in Nigeria and out of Nigeria. She's well known for her unique style and her creative mind. The album is totally excited to have this one-on-one -on -one chat with such a powerful woman in the world of fashion. I'm talking about Vicky James. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. You welcome back is still the album and I already let my cat out of the bag. My guest is the one and only exceptional Vicky James. <laughs> welcome to the album. Thank you, Ria. How Thank you doing? Thank you so much. I'm fine. And honestly, I am super honored to have you on the show. Thank you. Because it's normally I don't really interview women. So when I said I was going to interview a woman, it was like, do Vicky James, do Vicky James. Oh, really? And I finally got you. So, you know, thank you for joining us. Thank you, we too. We really appreciate it. Thank and you. I cannot wait to just have this conversation with you, listening to your story. I'm sure it's going to motivate a lot of women out there. I hope so. <laughs> it definitely will. But let's get into it. Biochemistry, fashion. Take me through your growing up days. How was it like the little Vicky James? Not, not what we see now. The little Vicky. Take me through those growing up days. Okay. Uh, well... I grew up in Ajegunle in Lagos. Oh, wow. And I mean, there's, there's a, is it a misconception? Or a notion. <laughs> or like there's a narrative, you know, mm -hmm. when you say that you grew up in Ajegunle, there's just an idea that people have about you like, wow, you mean you came out of that kind of place, you know? Yeah. So um, growing up was, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't really easy. It was, mm -hmm. it was hard because I lost my dad before I was five. Mm -hmm. And I had to also my way out of, you know, Ajegunle and it wasn't easy. I have done so many things, mm -hmm. you know, from makeup to hairstyling. In fact, that was what I thought I was going to, you know, be doing because that was what I was doing when I, when I was in school. Yeah. Um, it was when I moved back to Lagos that, mm -hmm. you know, I just sort of tilted towards fashion. fashion. And it's been it's been great it's been great then. but i want to know what made you tilt to fashion there must have been something you i well, feel like you already had the passion yeah uh, well uh i had the passion for fashion designing mm -hmm. but it was not um i didn't think i was going to be doing fashion as mm -hmm. you know like for a lifetime for you a know, lifetime. something that would yeah. do to make money or to earn a mm -hmm. living um, because my mom was a tailor and I yeah. learned sewing from my mom mm -hmm. and my mom was like a a tailor and mm -hmm. when I tell you yeah. a tailor she was good she was mm -hmm. really talented at what she does but she did not make so much money, money. from tailoring yeah. and that's why I felt like oh this this was this is a poor man's job and I cannot do it you yeah. know so I loved sewing I loved designing things mm -hmm. I used to design things for myself and yeah. other people like my friends for yeah. free but I knew as a then that yeah. I was never going to go into this you know to make money for it like mm -hmm. this will be yeah. what I will be doing this will mm -hmm. be like my career that exactly. I want to pursue you know it was when I came back to Lagos mm -hmm. and I was going to continue with makeup and hairstyling because that's that's what I was doing in school and I was yeah. making good You're money making you know? <laughs> I was making yeah. money and when I came back, a lot of my friends and family, mm -hmm. people that I know, mm -hmm. were already into makeup. Is it that yeah. the person is already into makeup or their sister is into makeup? makeup? So I yeah. just had to sit down and, and think and, you know, just be like, what, what, what can I do, do outside of these two, yeah. two things? You know, because I cannot be doing this and I don't have people to refer me, yeah. you know, that type of thing. So I had to think of another talent that mm -hmm. I have you know, that I could work with. Mm -hmm. And I just fell back to fashion design. Okay. And I said, okay, I don't love making clothes for people for mm -hmm. money, yeah. but let me see how this works. And mm -hmm. then from there- And it's giving you a lot of millions. <laughs> <laughs> but before we even go deep into fashion design, I know you're a very family oriented person. I am. You know, I've seen your videos with your family. I know you're this, you're, you're this home, homely, homely guy. I've done my research and all of that. <laughs> But tell me, what are some of the values that, you know, especially your mom installed in you that up till now, you know, you still work with them? Uh, I, I'm, I'm so grateful for my mom because mm -hmm. trust me, um, my upbringing, mm -hmm. right? My mom did so well, you know, bringing us up. Um, she brought us up in 
the way of the Lord. Mm -hmm. and, and that is something that has blessed me and has helped me, you know, up until where I am today. Yeah. And I feel like if I did not have that up upbringing, mm -hmm. you know, I would have made so many mistakes, mistakes. in life that I would mm -hmm. probably reg be regretting now. Yeah. And yeah, I feel like my mom did, my mom did really well with us. Mm -hmm. um, I lost my dad when I was five, like I said. And yeah. Since then, up until now, mm -hmm. my mom has never remarried. Oh, wow. You know, she promised to give her life to bringing us up yeah. alone, you know, to have time for us. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure she's reaping the fruits of her labor. Right no, she, she, that's actually so, that's so <laughs> emotional. And, and it's good that, you know, you remember these things and, you know, you're there. Yeah. You know, this is it's so beautiful. You know, I say it like all the time yeah. that I tell my brothers, like, mm. w everything that I do is for you guys. Yeah. Like, my life. Is for you guys you know mm -hmm. until i have my own family but yeah. even after that these people are like they're Vicky's like gonna my, make my me back cry. <laughs> they're like my backbone they're like i can do anything for my siblings for i can siblings. do anything for my family mm -hmm. they mean so much to me and i'm sure that's where you're getting all your blessings from yeah. but anyway when we come back we get to talk about the main reason why we're here we'll talk about fashion we know how the industry is saturated with a lot mm -hmm. of fashion designers but vicky still stands tall when we come back we talk about that <laughs> You're welcome back. This is still the album, and my guest is Vicky James. I'm totally enjoying my conversation with her. It almost doesn't feel like an interview. <laughs> but let's talk about the fashion industry as well. It's saturated. We have a lot of fashion designers, the so ones that many. make good clothes, the ones that make mm -hmm. kind of clothes, <laughs> and all of that. So getting into it, what were some of your fears? <sighs> the truth is, I didn't have any fears because I am multi-talented. Like, mm -hmm. I don't this. I don't know that thing that can be done with hands that yeah. I cannot do, you know, as long as I put my mind to, to it. it. So I wasn't scared because I only have like other talents I can mm -hmm. fall back to. Yeah. I say to you today that uh, if tomorrow everyone in this world decides mm -hmm. that they're not wearing clothes anymore, mm -hmm. I will be fine because there's just so much that God has blessed me with. And that's yeah. why I don't joke with God, you know. Mm -hmm. So when I started, I didn't have any fears, trust me. Yeah. I, I, my, my, my thoughts were just, you know, let me see you know, what I can make out of this. Let me yeah. see how God can just lead me mm -hmm. to changing my mindset about yeah. fashion designing, you mm -hmm. know, that I had. And, you know, when I started, I had a few challenges. Yeah. What were some of the challenges, actually? Yeah, I had a few challenges because, I mean, doing business in, in my country, mm -hmm. is, is it takes it takes a lot, a lot, you know. It's not easy mm -hmm. for, and I'm sure people in Nigeria can relate to what I'm exactly. saying. It's not easy running a business here. Mm -hmm. So I actually face a lot of challenges with, you know, location because yeah. obviously you're in Lagos. Yeah. The traffic here is crazy. Exactly. So I had issues with, you know, my customers on the island, mm -hmm. on the mainland. There's already like something that makes it look like people who are on the island and on the, on the mainland are in two different states. Places. So I faced that challenge with mm -hmm. location. I faced challenges with like, you know, um, getting good materials here, yeah. you know, at very expensive rates or mm -hmm. affordable rates, like all those few challenges or really, things I faced, but I didn't have any fears. Really. Yeah. I didn't. No fears, really? I didn't have any Financial fears. Financial fears? Um, okay, well. Because? I, I had, I had, I had the fear of, yeah. I had the fear because I'm one person, I like to succeed in everything that I do. Yeah. And I think the reason why I wasn't really scared mm -hmm. is because since i was born yeah i'm telling you the truth mm -hmm. up until now there's nothing i have put my mind to do that i have failed at nothing and it was just like i knew that you know mm -hmm. i was born for this yeah i just needed to put my mind to it your mind to it but quick question did you know you were going to make as many millions that you're making now be be honest <laughs> be truthful be truthful did you did you think it you see i have always known mm -hmm. that i was going to be the one that would take my family out mm. of where we were okay i have always known that yeah you know i'm that promised child mm -hmm. okay but i love there's the way she way. there's some confidence that oh, that no, vicky speaks it's, with it's, i call it godfidence actually <laughs> yeah. there's just something about me mm -hmm. i stand out anywhere i go okay my mom says it all the time mm -hmm. you know my mom waited for five years to have me. Yeah. And how did she have me was like a prophecy. Mm -hmm. And she was told that this is the girl that would change everything. Oh, wow. And I did not, I did not doubt myself one Yourself. bit. You know, yeah. I knew that it, I just needed to keep pushing. Mm -hmm. You know, I just needed to keep pushing. So, yeah, this is me. This is you. This Living is the dream life. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> but also in the same industry, we hear a lot of things, we see a lot of things. We know that sometimes people will see an amazing dress like this mm -hmm. and steal the idea. We've seen that a whole lot yeah. and take it to somewhere else. Sometimes it's what I ordered versus what I got. And mm -hmm. sometimes it's actually what exactly. I ordered and I got it right. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with stuff like that? How do you deal with seeing <laughs> your, your, your creative process outside? You know, uh, <laughs> when I just started, it was really a bother mm -hmm. to me because... You know when you do something, you've taken so much time mm -hmm. doing this thing, and someone will just wake you just wake up and one day you just see on the internet that someone has recreated your style mm -hmm. and even be putting caption that you that created yeah. the style. You do not have the <laughs> mind to put the caption. Yeah. Like some people, they would and most of them are people who are even close to me, yeah. right? They was they will be putting caption like the the amount of time it took us to do this. I'm like, I was the one that I saw this style in the dream that exactly. it's me that God gave this style. Yeah. And I'm even, in my caption, I'm humble. <laughs> you're not, <laughs> you're not proud with my own design. Exactly. And sometimes, as in when I just started, I, I used to post them on my yeah. story and mm -hmm. just be like, oh, it will be good for you. I, I, the truth is, I've mm -hmm. never even had problems with people copying me. Okay. Because, you know, it makes me feel that, oh, I, I'm actually inspiring people. Okay. There are most people that would copy and put it there and say, oh, inspired by Vicky. Vicky. James. It gives me so much joy to yeah. see that I'm inspiring people. Mm -hmm. So it's not even a problem if you copy me. Yeah. But when you copy me and you want to act like you don't know that you copied me as far as my own. <laughs> no, it's actually really, really painful. Yeah. But it took so much time for me to just be like, you know what? Mm -hmm. These people have copied you over the years. They've yeah. still not been able to surpass you. There's, so I just have to tell myself, you know yeah. what, there's a lot from where this is coming from. from yeah. So if I start something and people are doing it, doing it, oh, I move on. Yeah. So you guys can keep following me. Following me. That's, 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 that's the wow. mindset that I have. But also, we cannot talk about you, talk about the Vicky James brand without talking about pricing. Mm. And I know that your <laughs> prices have caused controversies mm -hmm. online. You know, mm -hmm. a lot of people have sided with it. A lot of people have said it's too much, it's yeah. too this, it's too that. But speaking to you, Vicky herself, you know, do you do it intentionally? Or the items really, you really go through that stress and the materials are that expensive? Well, um, I believe that I've been able to build my brand mm -hmm. to the level where I can charge what I feel it's worth, okay. right? Okay. Um, I don't think it's okay for people, just like when I put up my prices mm -hmm. recently yeah. and some people, some designers were saying, oh, Vicky, thank you so much. Now we're going to up our prices, yeah. you know? And I'm like, okay, if you feel like you give that much value, value. you know, you feel like you deserve that much, then yeah. fine. But if you don't deserve that much, you're just going to lose, lose customers because True. what are your customers coming back to you for? You know, exactly. I already, I've already been able to carve a niche for, for myself yourself. in the fashion industry. You know, mm -hmm. something that speaks for me. Yeah. I already have my signature. So exactly. if you want to wear a Vicky James dress, you don't mm -hmm. need to be told. And you don't need to tell anyone yeah. that you're wearing my dress. It exactly. Just, you will just... Like when someone posts a dress of a dress that I make, yeah. you don't need to tag me mm -hmm. because people will go there and tag me. Exactly. Do you understand? So that's like value in itself without me even talking much yeah you know and when i started fashion designing i did not just wake up and start calling prices no yeah. it took so much you mm -hmm. know it took a lot and there's so much that i have invested in my business to yeah. make it what it is today mm -hmm. people don't understand so yeah. when i charge that's why people say oh oh why is the price like this i'm like you really ex expect me to explain, explain that. that, do we want to start from the value that you're going to be getting? Yeah. Do we want to start from the time that we're going to take to detail this mm -hmm. dress? Do we want to start from what it takes me to actually create a design Fine. for you? Because it takes me a lot. Sometimes yeah. I'm sitting down, I don't even know what to do. Sometimes I have to just even start worshipping for wow. God to actually show me what, to, what do. to do. So that's why every time I say, oh, the Holy Spirit gives me designs and they're like, hmm, how? Because the devil gives nothing, yeah. but they don't understand. It takes a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And then the Vicky James brand is a big name in itself exactly. that is not even as big as it should be, mm -hmm. but it is big. Yeah. You know, so these are the things that people pay for. But mm -hmm. people who don't get it just cannot get it until it's time for them to get it. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I love that. Vicky James, I feel like if you were not a designer, you would have probably been a public speaker. You know, and you would have done amazingly well. But when we come back, we talk about her closeness to God. I'm sure everybody knows that she's a Jesus baby. I when am. we come back, she tells us more about how she's able to mix that with the kind of job that she does. Don't go anywhere. Okay, guys, we're still talking to Vicky James. Now we're about to talk about Jesus, which is the part that I love to have the conversation about. Because when you see Vicky, sometimes with the hair, the clothes, everything, <laughs> you will not know that she's the 
a strong worshiper. Like she doesn't even <laughs> joke with her God. A girl please, must slay. Please wait. How are you able to mix those two together? How are you able to differentiate work from that? Well, you see, um, I think first of all, you have to, as a Christian and a believer of Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. right? You have to know that. You have to know what comes first, mm -hmm. what is primary, yeah. right? And it is already said that whatever you value more than God mm -hmm. is absolutely what you worship. Whatever yeah. you value most over God or whatever you give more time and attention to mm -hmm. is what you worship. Yeah. And I am I'm a Christian that is doing everything possible to make sure that I live a life of Christ or right. to make sure that I carry out my assignments on earth, which yeah. is to spread the gospel of Christ, which mm -hmm. is the good news, right? Yeah. And I try to put that into my everyday life, mm -hmm. into what I do, into my work yeah. that is given to me by God because mm -hmm. he owns everything, you True. know? And this is, this is what I, what I know. This is mm -hmm. the mindset I have. So the things I do, I do them intentionally. You know, I have one goal, mm -hmm. and people say it's jokingly that heaven yeah. is the goal, but this is my one goal to make heaven. To make heaven. No matter what, at the end of it all, mm -hmm. I want to make heaven. heaven. And I put it all the time to people around me know God for yourself, you yeah. know, because we we're talking just now mm -hmm. and we're like, oh, how do you do this True. with your kind of work, True. you know? Because when people talk about fashion, the kind of fashion that we do, True. a lot of people tend to associate, associate it with the devil, true. right? Very true. But the truth is the devil owns nothing. nothing. The devil owns nothing. He does not make, he's not the creator of yeah. anything. God owns everything. Mm -hmm. That's the thing that Christians need to know. Yeah. So that the devil... The devil will not have, you know, the opportunity to come and mess with your mind. True. Once you know that everything that you do, in fact, everything that is made, mm -hmm. everything that is done, yeah. will be done, is done by only God, God and through the help of the Holy Spirit and through yes. Jesus Christ. That way you will be able to impute God completely yeah. in everything that you do. I don't think it's hard. I think we just have to know that this is our primary assignment mm -hmm. to preach Christ with everything, Thing. with your work. Let people hear Christ. Yeah. Let people see Christ with everything that you do yeah. without even you having to talk much about it. You know? yeah. And the beautiful thing is that Vicky James recently had a bad day, which we're going to show you. And I'm like, normally it was supposed to be the club busting down and everything. Uh, but no, you no, had no, like no. a praise. <laughs> See, I think this is the first time I've seen a, uh, like a, a, a popular person do that. I'm, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, I, know, right? I saw it and I was stunned. I'm like, what? A praise and worship? How do you get that idea? Like, I feel like the Holy Ghost is really in your head because the kind of idea Oh, yeah, he lives in my head because, I mean, he lives in every one of us. Yeah. You just have to make sure that in everything you activate him because mm -hmm. he's there. Yeah. You either put him down or make sure that he fires up mm -hmm. and fires you up. Yeah. So... Um, well, I knew I wanted to have my birthday mm -hmm. and I knew that it had to be an avenue for me to portray Christ. Christ. That's, that's, that's my decision, you know. Yeah. Everything I do, let me portray Christ. Mm -hmm. um, I remember when I posted a video, just like a fun video yeah. saying that, oh, that um, the man that wants to marry me has to be ready to dance yeah, to gospel music. I think, I, I, think music, I saw that, yeah. You know, and people were like, hmm, what are you trying to say? <laughs> and this is not me... It's not even like I said, oh, there's uh, secular music is not yeah. good. Mm -hmm. I never said that. And I never even said that I will not dance to any love song on my wedding yeah. day or any nice song. Mm -hmm. I didn't say that. But if I'm going to be having a wedding mm -hmm. that a lot of people will probably be talking about, yeah. it will be an avenue for people to hear about Christ mm -hmm. through my events. You know, yeah. so this is like, this is, this is it. This mm -hmm. is just it. I had my gala last year yeah. and people noticed that. It was like almost 100% mm -hmm. gospel music. Yeah. And I was happy and I felt some level of fulfillment the mm -hmm. next day when I saw people tweeting, oh, who noticed that it was only gospel song at the Vicky James yeah. event? And it's not like there's anything wrong with some secular, secular. music. Exactly. It's just that, it's just the way people hear secular music mm -hmm. too much everywhere. Yeah. Let my event be one of the opportunities or the places where people will hear gospel music that people try to hoard. 
you know Very that's, true. that's that's my life but quickly vicky you're someone that i think that a lot of trolls come under you how do you deal with that so if you notice mm -hmm. yeah before i came out as daughter of zion yeah. or as a christian mm -hmm. i did not get this much negativity true it was so when I came out as that that mm -hmm. people started coming from left, right, and center. Yeah. First of all, they came with my style. Mm -hmm. Second of all, they came with just me. Yeah. Third of all, they came with um, uh, maybe it's my relationship with some friends that I'm no yeah. longer friends, friends with. with yeah. Then they came with my prices. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, it all boils down to what the Bible says. Please. I was persecuted. Mm -hmm. Me, Jesus Christ, God yeah. in human form. Mm -hmm. How much more you? So that's just what I tell myself. Mm -hmm. I was expecting it. Yeah. It's not. I'm not surprised about it. Mm -hmm. I am not bothered. People will come around. But what is they the? Will be fine. What is the most negative thing that you've heard about yourself that hurt you? Okay, let, let me put it this way. <laughs> what, what did you read on social media that really hurt you? Because it uh, wasn't true. Okay, because it wasn't true. It would be, it would be a story that some blogs have been carrying about myself. I don't want to mention names about myself and someone that I was friends with. Okay, they've been carrying some, you know. It is a different thing if people know that when they post something about you, yeah. you would come out. You know, there are people like that. Once they say anything about you, you will come out to answer. To answer, true. Me, I'm not that type of person. And I pray that God will keep me like that. Because like I don't intend to come and start clearing things up for mm. people. I don't, at this point in my life, right, I've decided that, you know what, well, let people think what they, they want, want to think. think. You cannot please everybody. Yeah. I'm living my life for my god mm -hmm. myself and my family those are yeah. people who matter to me so i really don't care about what people say mm -hmm. but that's like one of the things that really hurt me because you yeah. know you know that these things are not, are true, not true but you cannot answer answer that you know you cannot just make them and I'm, and i just have to just go back and just say god just just help me just that's help. all and I'm inspired by all you said because, you know, we have kind of similar stories, you know, oh, the yeah. go-getter that you are. What would you like to say to that young girl out there that wants to go into fashion? Hmm. The young girl that wants to go into fashion. Okay. First of all, I would say make sure that you love it, right? Make sure that you love it because it can get really frustrating. Mm -hmm. Make sure that you have passion for it. for it. And you don't even have to have so much passion for it. Yeah. Because um, I say it all the time. Money will make you grow passion for something. Mm -hmm. By the time you start making money from it, yeah. you definitely start falling in love with it with more it. and more. Yeah. Like when I started, I wasn't so much in love with it. But when mm -hmm. I started seeing uh, the cash, <laughs> the love, <laughs> the love was like yeah. double, you know. Mm -hmm. So make sure that you love it. And then make sure that you are consistent at it at okay it, yeah there's no fashion is not um something that you would do and mm. feel like oh you can just be living your life like, like you yeah. are doing other things no you have to give fashion 100 percent. i was at an interview yesterday with ugo Monye, yeah. and he said something he said fashion is like a babe mm. that you need to nurture. to nurture you have to give it 100 percent attention mm -hmm. and then the God factor. You yeah. cannot remove God from whatever it is, basically, mm -hmm. whatever it is that you want to do, be it fashion, whatever it is you want to enter into. Yeah. Okay. Make sure that you put God first God in everything. Best. He's the one. Look, let me tell you. So many of my most amazing designs. Yeah. I got them by just asking God, God. to show me. You know, so it's not you cannot do it on your own. The God factor has to be there. Mm -hmm. You have to be consistent. You have to love it. Build meaningful relationships relationship. with people who come into your life, like your, some of your clients. You know, yeah. build valuable relationship with them. Don't drive them away with you know some kind of I don't know. You know, there's some people yeah. that just being around them, you just don't want to be there. You know, yeah. yeah. I believe if you have God, God would God will sort everything and see out. you through. <laughs> But anyway, we're going to the last segment of the show. When we come back, we're going personal with Vicky James. This is what you do not want to miss. All you gossips, this is the right part. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. You're welcome back. The thing is that I do not only give you so much entertainment on the album, I actually educate you. And if you've not taken anything from this interview, then I bet you need to watch the repeat again. But it's time for us to do the intimate part where we get to find out some personal things about Vicky right here. And she's not scared. She says, Ria, bring her. And of course, Ria is going to do what? Bring on. Okay, I wonder what the questions are. I'm you ready. ready. Drum rolls. Okay, so the first one, let me tell you the rules of the game. You have to answer. You have okay. to answer the question. 
I'll answer now. You have to answer. Okay. Should it's like I'm scared. Answer is it's answer. like I'm scared. <laughs> Are you dating? Well, am I dating? Mm -hmm. hmm. She, child of God, they date. <laughs> I'm married to Jesus. <laughs> no, no, that's not the right answer. Are you in a relationship? I am in a relationship. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we're going to leave it at that. <laughs> Wedding bells anytime soon? Uh, I, well, I don't know. I don't know. And honestly, I don't. I don't know. I don't think so. Mm. You don't think so? But you're in a good relationship. Yeah, I am. Okay. Whenever God says it's the time, it's the time. Right now, I'm focused on. Vicky James. Vicky James. Okay. Do you have this ex that you regret dating? Hey! <laughs> I said we are ah! best now. <laughs> hey, God. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Jesus. Yeah? He's lucky I have God now. Do yeah. you have Jesus in my life? Mm -hmm. Because what I would have said here, yeah. I do. I do. That boy. That boy. <laughs> <laughs> ah no 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 no! If you know that boy, <laughs> ah. hey, Vicky, no. Me. Let me just. I'll mention his name. Yeah, Vicky, you can do that. You let's let's just pity him. Oh, we should pity him. Let's, for the but sake of God, give me one experience that he did to you that you never forget. Ah. just one. Ah, just have one. they brought? Oh, just one, just one. I have plenty. No, just but let me give you one. Yes, yeah, just give us one. Have they brought? Hey, God. Have you brought an ex to your mm -hmm. boyfriend's house before? You're in the house. Yeah. Then I brought the ex. Mm. Um, the ex is there. The ex, you know, the ex who spend the night. Yeah. You good girl because you're in love. Mm -hmm. You're forming. Oh, yeah. She's his ex, and mm -hmm. they're just they're still friends. Yeah. You know, he's hurt her so much, so he doesn't want to just pursue her or just end their friendship. Yeah. So I'm the understanding girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Then the ex now came. I don't know ex we spend the night mm -hmm. before. I know ex was spending the night. I was not even around. Then I came back. Mm -hmm. See me entering kitchen <laughs> to go and see what is happening. It's me that ex is saying, please, wait, what do you want? Hello. <laughs> I'll come for a pot of soup that I cooked. Ex is now showing me, spoon for ex. I said, don't worry, don't worry, I'll pick it up. I'm like, ah, <laughs> pot and spoon that I bought. House that I follow Bobo to rent. She ah, said, she said, did not inform you about me, <laughs> me. <laughs> If you see me there, I'm like, oh, okay, thank yeah. you. I enter a room, go, they yeah. think my life. Think your life. Before I know, evening don't reach, ex, no, they go. My boyfriend enter inside the room. That, please, where is that his pajamas mm. I used to wear? Uh. I'm like, hey, what happened? Uh. That, please, that he wants to give you, that she needs it. I'm like, ah, Vicky, okay. you are not did they, you not fight. Did they you do in my eye like this, me? <laughs> Vicky, you not, not beat the girl up. Have you seen where, do you, say, do you know what love is? <laughs> ah, love, I'm not doing you. They carry the pajamas yeah. I gave to this girl. Something I used to wear. I was just there looking like this. Oh, wow. I assisted. I assisted the house. Guess what? In the night, they did not come and sleep with me on the bed, though. They still don't keep her company. Wiki, it's I well. was there. It's well. They kept her company till morning. Guess what? The next day, I still made Indomie for her. I still, See, I still left. I left them in the house that, oh, that if she needs anything, she should let me know. I was doing makeup. Oh. Guess what? what? The next day, mm -hmm. She came in. She followed me to go and do makeup. Ah! Uh, <laughs> she followed me to do bestie. Can you imagine? And I was still there doing understanding girlfriend. Understanding girlfriend. No, no, Until like, they show me she again. I'm glad God took you out of that. Now, uh, God, no, no, God will We don't have time because I'm giving people the gist. <laughs> this one is a tip, a tip of the iceberg. No, men are scum. Hmm. But let me go to the next one. There's a notion, and we hear it a lot. People say, oh, is it not Vicky James? Uh, there is this big politician sponsoring her. I'm sure you've heard it. It's, yeah? not, it's not me saying it. I've never joking. heard that one before. Okay. <laughs> hey! Well, hear stuff like that, like, oh, Vicky, no, no, no. But they, I mean, I know that they yeah, say that a lot exactly. about, like, girls, especially if they live in Lagos exactly. and they're doing well, yeah. you, know. you know. How does that make you? Have you ever heard that about yourself, and how does that make you feel? No. When I have my kids, yeah. and I go for liposuction in this country, yeah. that means they will all think. <laughs> because the way they talk about okay. it, yeah. they will call my friends. Oh, this girl, like, the body they confuse them. them. <laughs> Today, the body don't they like it. Tomorrow, <laughs> don't I'm like God. It's the glory of the Lord it, Jesus. It's the grace of God. It's the grace of the Lord. They're not. Uh, they don't want to believe God's work. work. But we never do your body. It. I'm like I'm the queen of snatching. Yeah. When people say I'm the queen of snatching. What do you expect? Yeah. You expect me to be her when I'm all dressed, dressed up. up. They'll say I've done my hand. She even did her leg. That one just offed me. I'm like, ah, <laughs> like this. Me, I'm going to say, ah, this body, I need to hit the gym. Yeah. I'm like, ah. 
But yeah, you have a great body thing. actually. Seeing it personally, it it's looks the really Lord good. Jesus. It's the Lord Jesus, right? <laughs> but so you do your body in the future. Oh, when I have my kids, I definitely yeah. have plans to. I mean, just take out fat from my tummy when mm -hmm. I have my kids. I'm saying it yeah. now. It's not the one that when the time for people come and say it's it, something, something, something. Unless the Holy Spirit tells me another thing. Yeah. Right now, I don't think there's anything yeah. wrong mm -hmm. if I have my kids yeah. and I feel like oh. I want to, I'm into fashion. I'm yeah. not going to stop modeling my dresses true. until thousands of centuries to come. My true. children will come and take af after me. Mm -hmm. I don't understand. After I have my kids, it's already my plans. Yeah. People are hearing it now. It's not listen the one. Up, listen I up, have, listen because good. on social media, mm. I have people who are the sisters and brothers yeah. of the imaginary doctor that did my body. So I'm telling them now. So they can go and tell the doctor that I'm coming back. <laughs> that one is the real one. So that no. time when they now see it, they will, not, they will now know that Vicky, I said it. Vicky is fearless. People are normally scared of this segment. But you know, you went all out. Ah, no. This mode. What am I? I'm only afraid of God. Nothing else. <laughs> I love it. Vicky, you are an inspiration. Thank you. And I'm glad we were able to do this. Thank you are you so amazing. Much. You know, you do a great job. Thank you. And we love you. We see you. I love you, you know, too. And God just bless you. And God bless the brand. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. Thank Guys, you for having that me. is it. I've had an amazing time talking to Vicky James. You can see how fearless she is. You can see how she puts God first. You can see how she's directed by God and you can see how she loves her craft. Any young lady watching, I'm sure you've picked something out of this. And that's what I do. I make sure that I educate you on the show. You know that what a man can do, a woman can definitely do better. And she's a strong woman here and she has shown you all of that. So yes, I'll see you guys next time on the album. Don't forget to know that this show was brought to you by Upfront personal and sponsored by Nigerian breweries.